everybody, this is Shady Corners. Um, someone asked me on Deviant Art how to get started writing and plotting comics. Um, I'm not super experienced, but I do have a lot of thoughts about what should really go into a story in general. Um, so I decided to put them all, all those thoughts into a video series. So this video is about outlining. Enjoy. I wish I'd outlined more. Uh, I outline like crazy now. Whenever I have um, just a random story pop into my head, I write, you know, like three sentences that summarize the whole story. Um, girl finds sword, gets good at sword, uses sword to beat this demon. <laughs> you know, something really basic like that. And then I go through and I say, oh, uh, she, you know, she really hates weapons. You know, that's this unique twist. And then I outline... Uh, she finds a sword while she's running away from home because she doesn't want to be a soldier. I don't know. Um, there's a mysterious guy who trains her in using the sword. He's very standoffish, but he thinks that she's kind of cute and he ends up, you know, kind of being protective of her. They fall in love, you know. That's what my outlines look like. And even though it sounds like gibberish, and it kind of is gibberish, um, I wish I had done that earlier on because that gives you something concrete to work with. So outlining is huge. Outlining and very quickly summarizing makes it really easy to control your ideas and get them focused. That's one thing I wish I had done. So um, just to show you kind of what my process looks like, um, this is my little blue, uh, just regular spiral notebook. Um, and when I first start developing a story, I like to handwrite it. It looks like this. Um, and the reason I like to handwrite it is because I don't worry about typos, because I'm not typing. Um, I don't worry about errors or mistakes because it's supposed to be messy. It's my handwriting. I'm used to my handwriting being bad. Um, so I like to handwrite things first because it helps me relax and just forget about polishing and just get all the ideas out. Um, so this is what my summaries look like. This is for my comic, Dirk Gable. Um, this right here, this first paragraph, that's all of issue one. And this next one, next one is technically issue three. Um, because I changed the order, but that's it, just those paragraphs. And that's how I start outlining the, the story, because um, I want to have an idea of where it's going to go. Real quick, something else I learned was there's a difference between plot and story. Um, a plot is the actual events that take place, like really concrete milestones. You know, character finds item, um, decides to protect item, other characters join the fight, bad characters try to take the item and kill the good guys. That's sequence of events. That's plot. So story is the unique part that you add. So if you have a character finding an item, that's your plot. The unique part could be it's a hobbit finding a ring. It's um, a young boy in a forest finds the master sword. It could be some kid on a desert planet finds a message from Princess Leia. An owl brings a message to a young boy. Now he knows he can be a wizard, Harry. Three children find a letter that reveals something about their parents and the secret organization they were part of. A girl finds a wardrobe. Whatever. That's your story. The character finding an item part? That's plot. You add story to a plot. Um, I think if I had known that earlier on, my outlining, um, if I'd been outlining, <laughs> would have been a little bit stronger. So how do you use plot and story together to create a really interesting comic. Um, here's how I kind of use it. Um, going back to this outline I did, um, the dark blue, like this main paragraph, um, that's plot. Um, so for instance, here's issue three. It's a spoiler for you guys. Um, starts with, they meet at a coffee shop. Um, Dirk and Cheyenne uh, are in a montage that shows them getting to know each other. He has lunch a couple times. Julian is still uncomfortable. Um, he decide, Dirk decides to ask Cheyenne out. Um, decides to also invite Jules, Julian. Um, and Julian is very surprised to be included and starts to like Dirk a little bit more. That's a plot. That is really boring. If I just, I did just tell you that and it doesn't sound really that engaging. But the story part of it, I go back and I do in red right here. I don't know if you can see it right here. Um, and the red is what's going on in the minds and hearts of the characters. So, um, Dirk doesn't want to tell Cheyenne, um, about what he does because he lost his best friend, 
or as I put it, BFF, um, to the business. Um, Cheyenne is nervous about meeting a guy, but she doesn't show it. Julian doesn't want some guy to hurt his mom's feelings again. That's the story. That's what's going on in the plot. Um, so that's why I use plot and story to construct an outline. So the other thing I try to do when I'm outlining is make sure that every issue or chapter has some character development in the protagonist. Whether it's we're learning something about their past, that kind of gives a little bit more uh, roundness to their character, or their personality changes a little bit. So in uh, Dirk Gable's case, going back to my little notebook, um, you meet Dirk, but you also see him being all cool and stuff, and then meeting somebody who makes him look a little bit goofy. Um, that adds a little bit more depth, because you see how does he handle that, and you learn something about him, and he learns something about himself. Um, that's a dynamic character. When you have a character who doesn't change, who just goes through all the motions of doing stuff, that's a static character. And it can be kind of cool. It's also boring and forgettable. <laughs> so even video game characters are generally dynamic. At the end, they have new tools. They've gone on adventures. Um, they're not the new adventurer that they were at the beginning of the game. Um, so yeah, when I outline, I always make sure that my character develops at least a little bit every single chapter. The other thing I do when I outline is I always keep a bigger picture in mind. That's sort of what the overall story is going to be. When you read it from issue one to issue whatever, the last issue, um, that's the story that all of those issues together tell. Um, so this outline that I showed you here, that's just the issue story. This is one story, this is another story, um, this is the beginning of the next story. Um, but at the end of each one, at the end of each paragraph, there's a little line about the bigger picture. And in Dirk's case, it's kind of the his dark background as an assassin and what this organization does and how it relates to Cheyenne and that's sort of the dark shadow you know behind you that you know starts to grow so when I'm outlining I always have a specific story that you kind of watch from beginning to end boy meets girl that's issue one um, but then you also learn that he's part of a dark organization and you're kind of wondering what what does this organization exactly do so the boy meets girl part makes issue one interesting, but the looming shadow makes the reader want to read issue two. Um, and it doesn't always have to be a threat. It could be, you know, some other kind of surprise, something that grows, something that keeps, you know, bigger anticipation going um, while your issues are coming out. Yeah, so I always pay attention to when I outline the immediate story and the overall story. So the little picture, and the big picture. Um, the last thing I'll say about outlining is really, truly try it. Um, when I first started doing comics, I generally just drew the characters and then I started drawing the panels and that's really hard to pace a story that way until you have a really good understanding of how it works. Um, so outlining also just kind of lets you see your story, you know, like right here. I can see dirt. That's actually dirt. Um, I can actually see the story and I can map my way through it now. Um, so outlining gives you a good grip of your story, it helps you figure out your plot, it helps you understand your characters and you get to know them more, and it helps you present something a little bit more clear and enjoyable for your readers. Um, so that's it for outlining. Um, I don't know what my next video is going to be, maybe developing characters. Um, if there's something you'd like me to talk about, uh, just comment below um, and let me hear your thoughts. Thanks!